Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. If you are new here, hello and welcome. My name is Ola Jumoke. I do hope you would consider subscribing to my channel and becoming part of my family here on YouTube. On my channel, we talk about everything that is embedded in being a highly successful yet feminine woman in a very masculine world and also how best to attract high caliber and high quality people into your life. Now, ladies, I was sent a video by a friend of mine yesterday and it was actually quite distressing. So I just wanted to speak a little bit on it. I'm just going to play you a clip from the video so you can uh, see what I'm talking about before I begin. So ladies, as you can see, uh, this is a clip of two fully grown women fighting over a man on Valentine's Day in a public mall. Now, I can laugh over this now, but I know that when I first watched this, I was quite distressed as to what had occurred. The first thing I wanted to say, ladies, is a high quality, high caliber man will never put you in a situation where you have to actually be physically involved in a fight over him. If a man respects you, if he loves you truly, if he honors you, he will never put you in a situation where you are completely left to embarrass yourself like this. The first thing I wanted to say about this video is, firstly, high quality women, Elegant women do not find themselves fighting in public over a man or anything else. It's just something that doesn't happen. The second thing is no man is worth embarrassing yourself over in public. Please, ladies, don't do this. It's just, it's so embarrassing and it actually cheapens you. That's the third point. It makes you seem so desperate and so hungry that you're willing to give up your self-respect for a man in public. It's actually quite sad because I think that growing up, you hear the notion all men cheat and I actually disagree with that. Hear me, ladies. A man will only treat you as a reflection of yourself. So what I mean by that is a man will treat you in a way that reflects what you allow him get away with. If you walk into a relationship and you say to a man or you give off the impression that, oh, whatever you do, I'll forgive you. It's fine. You have just given him a massive hall pass, a perpetual hall pass to cheat on you, to treat you like you don't matter. It's very important to understand that a man who respects you, who honors you, will put you first. He'll put you before himself. He'll put your comfort and your happiness before his own. There are men out there that do that. Don't be fooled by the notion that all men cheat. Not all men cheat. I actually know a few who so far haven't. They've been in relationships for over decades and yep, their spouses are pretty happy. But anyway, going back to the main point I was making, I'm not trying to make comparisons here. I'm just saying that it's high time that women are awakened and you realize that what you attract into your life is a reflection of what you give out. You are worthy of having a man who treats you like the best thing he's ever come across, who treats you with respect, who honors you and wants you to project as your best self. I actually used to think that I wouldn't want a man, I wouldn't be, want to be in a relationship with a man who was constantly calling, texting, you know, presenting himself to me in the sense that I always know where he is, what he's doing. But I've soon grown out of that, I think, naive notion. If a man loves you, he always wants to be in constant communication with you. Also, at least it gives you the comfort that you know what he's, you know, where he's at and what he's doing. Yes, that might not always be the case. Of course, some men are excellent at being pretenders and deceivers but i'm talking about a man who has a good heart so if you have a good heart you most likely will attract most likely i didn't say always but you most likely would attract a man with a good heart and if a man genuinely loves you it's just it's obvious you don't have to fight for his attention you don't have to fight for his love and least of all you don't have to fight over him in public ladies it is so important to realize 
who you are and what you're worth and don't go around letting people cheapen that don't go around letting men treat you like rubbish um there are very high quality good men out there who just want to love you for every man who treats you like dirt for every man who treats you like toxic waste there are at least 10 men out there who just want to worship the ground you walk on. So you definitely have to give yourself a chance to be loved, give yourself a chance to be respected by a man and also protect yourself, protect your heart. So guys, I'm, or ladies rather, and gentlemen, of course, I'm going to end this video here. I do hope you enjoyed that and I hope you, you know, took away one or two pointers from it. Do remember to subscribe to my channel and I will see you in my next video. Have a great day. Bye for now.